Shanghai. We're in Shanghai. With a population of 24 million people, Shanghai is the most populated city in the world, and it's pretty awesome too. We arrived at Pudong International Airport and took a taxi to our hotel, or you can take the metro, which is super cheap and pretty convenient. Shanghai Metro has 14 lines and it will take you basically anywhere in Shanghai. A ticket costs between 3 and 7 yuan. You can also take the Magla, fastest train on earth. It speeds up to 431 km per hour and will cost 40 yuan for a one-way ticket. After what seemed like a very short ride, we arrived at our hotel, Sofitel Highland. The coolest part about this hotel is that its back door is right in the middle of Nanjing Road, so its location is perfect. Oh, what is Nanjing Road? It's right in the center, close to the major tourist attractions, and it's the place to go if you want to go shopping. No matter what's your style and what's your budget, here you will definitely find something you like. Going east to Nanjing Road will lead you to the Bund, the waterfront area of central Shanghai. Pudong is only one step away from East Nanjing Road Station, but if you're an excited tourist, you can go through the sightseeing tunnel. I thought it was going to be a lame tourist attraction, but it was actually pretty cool. The first 50 yuan per person. There are several tourist attractions in Pudong, but today we're gonna visit two of them. First things first, if you arrive in Shanghai and the sky is clear, go to the Oriental Pearl TV Tower. Shanghai tends to get so hazy you can barely see the skyscrapers, and you really don't want to miss this. So if you can, go to the tower first. The tower has 15 observatory levels, but the most popular one is at 263 meters. It has a transparent floor and a panoramic view in Shanghai, and it's amazing. A ticket will cost you 160 yuan. After that, we went to the Shanghai Ocean Aquarium, which is right next to the TV tower. The aquarium is super cool. It has many kinds of jellyfish, sharks, sea turtles, swordfish, and penguins, and many other sea animals. A ticket to the aquarium also costs 160 yuan. Hey now, hey now, Back on the other side of the river. Shanghai is famous for its many markets. The one we went to is on Nanjing Road. It has electronics, toys, accessories, and clothing. You can get some really good deals by bargaining. To be honest, it's not my favorite, but if you want to stay in the area and just buy some souvenirs, it's perfectly fine. I put a list of other good markets and their addresses in the description box down below. You should definitely check them out. After that, we took a taxi to Yu Yuan Garden. We didn't go into the garden itself because it was too crowded, but we walked around the area, bought some souvenirs and fed some fish. This whole area has some really nice stores. Some of them are themed, like this panda store. Like how cute is this? In the afternoon we went to the French concession, a really nice, more western looking area of Shanghai. There are many cute little bars, restaurants, galleries, and shops in the area. And pandas, of course! We got back to our hotel to get ready for the night, and then went to the French concession again. This time to party! We started our night with some drinks at a bar called The Apartment and went clubbing after that. There are many pretty cool bars and clubs in the area. The 
places that mentioned in this video are the main tourist attractions you must see. But of course, there are tons of other things to do in Shanghai. It's huge, it's amazing, and it never sleeps. Yeah, it's pretty awesome in Shanghai. You should definitely visit it.